Hello, guys. Um, I'm going to read a little bit also. And I have these cards here. I have tried two times to record the video. I shuffled them earlier and five cards had fallen out. And um, what happened was the top five and plus this was the overall energy bottom of the deck i asked god what was the divine masculine thinking about the karmic this was the first read and so i was like you know or whatever i was like man my video have messed up or whatever uh the enemy don't want me to get this message out or whatever so i was like um I said, I'm just going to, so I had my sage lit and everything like that. And I've done two videos, guys, two videos. And I was like, I'm going to see what else the, uh, the divine masculine is thinking about the karmic. Trip me out, you know. And so, um, here it is, guys. Uh, okay. This was overall energy, bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords ending. Overall energy. This is what this was. Then, this came out. Knight of Swords drama is going on with him. I said, God, what is Divine Masculine thinking of the karmic? Endings, that it's drama dealing with her. Two of Swords, uncertainty. He's uncertain about what he's gotten himself into. He's trying to figure it out now. He, you know, since he, you know, some of them have a, awakened so much that, you know, it's putting them in a state of shock of like, what was I thinking? What was I doing? He's uncertain about the whole situation of how he even got here with this karmic in these situations, he trying to, oh, excuse me, he's trying to figure them out. Like, what was I thinking? Why did I put myself in that position? Then the devil, angel of freedom, he's wanting to be broken free of these link chains and bound situations, whether it's people, places, things, jobs. Whatever that is keeping him from feeling like he is a free man to do whatever he wants. Whether it's family or whomever that is making him feel linked, chained, and bound to this thing. He wants to be free. Whether it's addictions, uh, sexual, drinking, codependency, or whatever. He wants to be free. That's what I got out of that. Then, Nine of Swords. Uh... He's stressing over it. It's stressing over it because it got him in a state of the way he was acting when he had the blinders on and couldn't see with his spiritual lens. He was pretty much like, what have I did? What did I do? You know, could I be then lost something that God have given me? He, God have sent the divine femme and I mistreated her. I rejected her. I belittled her. I put people before her. I um, abandoned her. He's stressed over the stuff that things that he have done in the past towards Divine Film. Then a death, a transformation. We all know they're going through transformation, but it's coming to an end and it's a complete death. How we know this is Ten of Swords endings or whatever. Then, so I said, God, no, tell me more or whatever. What is he really thinking? And I got Queen of Swords independence. He's wanting to relay a message, communicate with her, telling her like, you know, this is, isn't going to work out. You know, I don't know, you know, what I was thinking before or whatever, but, you know, it's better for you to focus on yourself and it's better for us to go our own independent way 
or whatever and stand in independency. He wants her. He wants to communicate this. He feel queen of swords. He feels that she needs to be more independent than, you know, he started seeing the things that she was doing that could be uh, trying to mimic the divine film or be like her or something. And he's getting ready. He wants to, he wants to tell her that she needs to be, that they need to both be independent and go back to the cross and, you know, let God heal them and deal with them or whatever. Three of wands preparation. He's preparing himself to give the, give her this information. Like, you know, I think it's best that, you know, I think that you'll do better. I know that God has someone else for you. Um, he's preparing himself to let her know that, you know, it's not going to be me and you. You know, it's more of, you know, the transformation came and he's coming. He's seeing the light. He's coming to his senses and he's getting prepared or in preparation to tell her these things. Queen of Wands creativity he wants to tell her that she needs to focus more on herself and you know getting her stability together and her creativity you know focus on what god can make her be who god can make her out to be what god can give her what god what gifts that god got inside of her he wants her to go back and seek god's kingdom and get her creativity together or whatever that's what divine masculine he's getting prepared to tell her or he's in preparation to tell her then the hermit mode he's uh sitting in hermit or whatever uh angel of reflection and he's reflecting overall energy he's reflecting of all you know he's reflecting on this stuff you know he's withdrawal you know he, he he's wanting her to worry more about he's um solitary withdrawal patience and uh study and spiritual path contemplations meditations he's in hermit mode thinking about how he's going to go about telling her without hurting her feelings because you know he's starting to think that she got kind of got some issues as well like you know he don't want to hurt anyone he wants to help her as well but not in that way like them being together he wants her to focus more on her creativity and you know bringing herself to the light and coming out of darkness and being on a lower vibration um then burdens 10 of wands he's feeling like this whole overall energy situation is a burden 10 of wands a burdens to him that you know he can no longer carry this stuff that you know he can't do it for her that she's gonna have to seek God you know to make to love on her so she can love herself because it's becoming a burden and he don't want this to be any longer his problem his issue with dealing with her with her being codependent on him for you know Things that she need in her relationship. Then gossip. Page of swords. Uh, gossip. Uh, guys. He he is contemplating on. Letting her know. Or whatever you know. It's. Um, decisions. No. Not decisions. Gossip. Legal matter. And if they're married, if the divine masculine was married to this karmic or whatever, he's wanting her to know, you know, they're going to go to court and he wants a peaceful resolution to all of this. Um, he just wants to uh, legal matters. He's trying to work it out in a peaceful way or whatever. And it's being talked about it. He wanting to, you know, and come into agreement of what all they need to do, whether he needs to give her a little bit of money or something or whatever for her to be able to make it on her own or whether he have to pay child support or, and it's being gossip and talk about it or whatever. And, um, he wants to communicate all this stuff to her verbally or in writing, 
and or you know he wants her to sign an agreement maybe they're going through a divorce something he don't want to be held responsible for her anymore because paying all her bills or something maybe or taking care of all of her responsibilities it's being overwhelming and a burden for him and guys the, again this is what i got i had then shuffled on camera and my video messed up but this is what i got over you know for the what the divine masculine was thinking about the karmic god bless y'all have a great night